All right, good morning. This is, um, what do we call this? Flourish, flourish. And I think it's October 2nd. Hooray. Take a big inhale, full body stretch. Open and close your mouth. Point and flex your feet. Oh. Come into a little ball whenever you're ready. Maybe you've already started doing that. Rocking side to side. Massaging your back. Taking some bigger inhales and exhales through your nose. When you're ready, take both legs in the air, point and flex your feet, stretch your ankles and wiggle your toes. Let your shoulders be heavy, feel the floor supporting your head and neck. <clears throat> and when you're ready, taking those legs together in circles, massaging that low back. It is strangely tempting, at least for me, to hold my breath, clench my teeth, so don't do it. Keep breathing through your nose on purpose. <clears throat> and take your legs in the other direction. And holding on to your legs or your feet somewhere, take those legs wide. Soften your knees. And then bend those knees, cross your right thigh over your left, pulling those heels towards opposite hips. Maybe drawing your thighs in towards your chest. <clears throat> and switch sides. And big inhale, full body stretch, reach it all the way out. Feet flat on the floor, as wide as the mat, arms out to the side in a T. And take those knees side to side in big, super slow windshield wipers. Maybe taking your head in the opposite direction if that feels like a good idea. And when you're ready, bringing those knees into your chest, use your belly, bring your nose towards your knees. Bring your head back down, big inhale, full body stretch. Susan is having a total puppy yoga experience with puppies licking her face the whole time. Bring those feet flat on the floor, hands return to you. Press that low back into the floor, arms at your side. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees out. Take a nice inhale here and exhale it out your mouth. Feel the floor holding you up. Trust that you don't need to hold yourself up. Start drawing your attention inward, retuning your senses, peeling through the layers of you that relate to everyone and everything else until you come to that space of you relating to you right here and now, just as you are. And from that space, bringing up gratitude for all that makes it possible for you to be here in the midst of everything. Gratitude for your physical health. Despite aches and pains and frustrations with your body, you are healthy and strong enough today to show up for this class, lie down on the floor, and expect to get back up again with relative ease. Press your knees together, scooting your feet out away from each other, letting your hips sink down. Take a big inhale, bringing those hands underneath your head or arms out to the side, whichever works best for you. 
Gratitude for your mental health. Despite anxiety and stress, despite conflict and distraction that might be very present in your life right now, you were able to make the decision to be here and follow through on that decision. And stretch your arms and legs out into a huge starfish. Take up lots and lots of space. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. <sighs> Gratitude for any sense of spiritual health. That just makes some really hard days. Maybe some grief or depression, loneliness or fear. Despite all that, there was also enough levity and momentum, enough hope and confidence in this practice and this strangely gathered community to pull yourself up out of bed, away from whatever else you were doing or could be doing and show up. With all that gratitude and resilience that is strong in you, send out some hope and love and courage to the people and the places, all of the situations that are struggling for such health today. Big inhale, full body stretch, reach it all the way out. And bend those knees, bring your feet flat on the floor, hands return to you, press that low back into the floor. We're going to start to move through those bridge lifts. Maybe you add some hand weights across your hips or you hold a block between your knees to engage that more, but you're just slowly pressing up and slowly pressing down at your own breath pace. I am not counting. There is no goal number to do unless that is helpful for you. But we are simply warming up our butt and our hamstrings with some effort so that when we are doing other poses, they are already working. So we're going for a sensation of strong. Remember that you're, you don't necessarily need to get your hips as high as possible. You're bringing your hips up, holding them towards your knees a little bit. Do not draw that tailbone towards your head. You're not super rounding that low back. Keep breathing through your nose on purpose. Let's do a couple more. And one more time and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring yourself back down. Give yourself a bear hug. Stretch, stretching those shoulder blades apart. Take a big bear hug from me with the other arm on top. Squeeze and release. Roll over to one side. You're going to come up onto side plank so do not sink into your shoulder so lift up out of your shoulder your thighs are in line with your torso either your legs are straight and you come up onto maybe your foot or i like to bend the bottom leg and have the top leg be straight but either way you're using your hips to come up and down slow and controlled again at your own breath pace Going for that sensation of strong. Nice and easy, no yanking. Maybe you're feeling that strong in your elbow, or excuse me, maybe your elbow, in your shoulder that's holding you up. Keep breathing. I like to reach that top arm up just to sort of give myself a cue that I'm pulling up. Let's do a couple more. And hold it up one more time. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring yourself down and go to the other side. So you decide if you wanted to do a full 
legs extended side plank or you could be on both knees or have that top leg extended. Start moving at your own breath pace. Using that side body of your hip. <clears throat> Trust that you are building stability, strength in the side of your torso. Keep breathing through your nose on purpose. And do a couple more. And one more time and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring yourself back down. Come onto your back. Pull both knees into your chest. Extend that left leg along the floor, pulling that right knee into your chest. Take that right knee out and up towards your right armpit. Extend that left arm out to the side. Take some nice inhales and exhales here. See if you can actually just let gravity do everything. So breathe out your chest. Let your chest get super heavy. Pull that knee across your body, extending the right arm out to the side. Again, like gravity, do something. Release effort in your legs. Back onto the mat. Pull that knee into your chest. Use your belly. Bring your nose towards your knee. Bring your head back down, extend that leg up with humility and gratitude for the wonder that is your body, working well enough to be able to put one leg in the air. Stretch that foot out, point and flex. You've got 33 joints, move them. And hands underneath your head or arms out to the side. Point that right foot and take that leg in circles. Starting small and getting bigger. I want you to focus your effort and sort of the point of origin of this movement is in your hip socket. So really, really put your attention in building strength and mobility in that hip socket as you go bigger and bigger and bigger. And you're building some strength across that pelvis. Go in the other direction, starting big and getting smaller. Try to use effort, not momentum. So that might mean that you need to slow down a little bit. And you're gonna feel it in your belly as you're trying to stabilize through that left leg across your pelvis and right ankle across that left thigh, reach the arms overhead. Uh, draw that left thigh in towards your chest, holding on behind the thigh. Soften your neck and jaw. Left foot flat on the floor, tight into your butt, arms tight into your side. We're going to do eight one-legged bridges, if I can count that high. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, down. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, down. Keep the down slow and controlled. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale up, I think this is four. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time and hold it. Five, four, three, two, 
One, take that right leg straight up, straight ahead. Bring it down, get yourself into a better bridge. Give yourself a big, tight bear hug, rolling down. Think of someone you would love to hug and give them a big tight bear hug with the other arm on top and feel it. <sighs> Pull that left knee into your chest, extend that right leg along the floor, stretch your ankles, your feet, draw your shoulders down. <clears throat> Take that left knee out and up towards your left armpit, right arm out to the side. My hips already feel strong and they're going to get stronger, but maybe notice if there is a different sensation inside your hips. Pull that knee across your body, extending that left arm out to the side. Again, really feel this as a moment of rest. Sink into it. Back onto the mat. Pull that knee into your chest. Use your belly. Bring your nose towards your knee. Bring your head back down, taking that left leg up with humility and gratitude. Point and flex your foot. Soften your shoulders, your neck and jaw. And hands underneath your head or arms up to the side. Point that left foot and take that leg in circles, starting small, getting bigger, starting at your hip. You're still grounding and extending through that right leg. Don't go so fast that you're using momentum. And go in the other direction, starting big and getting smaller. And left ankle across that right thigh. Reach the arms overhead. And then draw that right thigh in towards your chest, holding on behind the thigh. Right foot flat on the floor, arms tight into your side, eight one-legged bridges. Inhale, press it up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. This is three, exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. One more time and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Take that left leg straight up. Straight ahead, bring it down, and get yourself into a better bridge. Take your arms out to the side in a T. Take a big, in, or, uh, soften your jaw, your chin, belly button towards your spine, tailbone towards your knees. Push into your feet and pull those shins straight ahead. Engage your butt, your hamstrings. Give yourself a big, tight bear hug, rolling down. Give yourself another bear hug with the other arm on top. Squeeze. Bring those knees into your chest. Grab the bottom of the feet or the back of the knees, coming into happy baby. <clears throat> Mm 
Big inhale, full body stretch. Reach it all the way out. You're going to roll over to one side. You're going to come up into staff pose. We're going to strengthen our hips a little bit more. So come to the far back edge of your mat. So like the furthest edge. Pull your butt pillows out of the way. Inhale, reach the arms up. Flex your feet. Exhale, forward fold, hands to the floor. Pull your heart forward, shoulders back. You're looking ahead. Then reach forward and release. Roll yourself up. Round those shoulders back. Hands come behind, feet flat on the floor. Slide your hips to your heels and up. Bring yourself back down. So we are doing a butt walk. So you're sitting up. Your feet are, actually your feet are fine. Whatever, your legs are doing nothing. You're picking one hip up and you're walking down your mat using your hips. Sit up, aim your heart out and up. So don't lose that beautiful posture that you've worked so hard for. When you get all the way down to the end of your mat, go back. I am running into a bookshelf, so then I'm gonna go back the other way. Your legs are just asleep. They are doing nothing. Soften your jaw. Maybe be silly. And once you've gotten all the way back, walk yourself back into the middle using your butts. <clears throat> oh, that's always more work than I expect it to be. Let's come up onto our hands and knees. Start moving through cat cow at your own breath pace. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Stretching and squishing those organs in your spine. Wag your tail side to side. All right, we are going to do bird dog, but we're going to do it differently than we have often done it in the past. Often we do it on our back. This time, you're going to extend that left arm straight ahead, right leg straight back and bring it down. Other side, extend the right arm and left leg. Bring it down, keep going. Opposite times, or opposite sides. At your own breath pace. So again, it's right arm, left leg. Bring it down. Left arm, right leg. Bring it down, it is not a race. So you're going nice and slow and intentional. You are using both sides of your brain. You are building up some stability across your pelvis. <clears throat> Keep breathing through your nose on purpose. Don't go too fast. And come back down, curl those feet under, press your knees up and hover in bear plank for five, four, three, two, one, and make your way into sweet down dog. Oh. And whenever our dogs or cats do it, we say, oh, such a good stretch. Oh, so feel that for yourself. Heels towards the floor, hips towards the corner where the ceiling and the wall meet. Inhale forward into plank on your knees or on your feet for five, four, three, two, one. Slow and control all the way down. Here comes another big stretch. Press up into up dog. Oh. 
back into lowdown or child's pose, whichever works best for your body today. Big inhale, reach, pull those hips back, soften your neck and jaw. Take that right arm across the floor to the left, turn your head to look at it. Switch sides. <clears throat> And make your way into down dog when you're ready. Walk or jump your feet into your hands, coming into forward fold. Soften your knees, grab opposite elbows, release your spine to gravity. Bend your knees, pushing through your legs, Roll yourself up. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, bend your knees. Stick your butt out, coming into chair pose. <clears throat> Take those arms back. Squeeze your shoulder blades like you're holding a basketball back there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one forward fold, release your spine to gravity. Hands to the floor, step that right leg back into a lunge. Both feet are straight ahead. Push into your legs and come up. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, bend that front knee. Get yourself stable but not stuck. You can bring your arms down. I want you to remember the butt walking, where you lifted or you moved with your hips. These step ups are all based in our hips. You're standing up, strong down that standing leg from your hip. You're moving this leg forward from your hip. This is all hip energy. We've got big hip energy. Okay, we're doing five step ups. Here we go, step up. And down, move with your hips. Step up and down. Step up and down. Step up and down. One more time and hold it. Step up. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift out of that low back. Bend your elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades. Take that knee out to the side, make this strong in your hips. Push the arms out, send the leg back, heart forward. Soften your neck and jaw. And bring the leg down, empty coat sleeves. Maybe shake your feet out if you haven't already. <clears throat> Other side. Come to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, bend your knees. Stick your butt out. Coming in a chair pose. Take those arms back. Hold that basketball behind you for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, forward fold, hold on to your legs somewhere, hands to the floor, step the left leg back, push into your legs and come up, reach those arms up, big long torso, bend that front knee, bring your arms down right now, get your mind in your big strong hips, they are making this happen, here we go, step up, and down, step up, and down, step up, and down, step up, and down, one more time and hold it, five, four, three, two, one, lift out of that low back, push down in the standing leg from your hip, Bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades. Take that knee out to the side. Push the arms out, send the leg back, heart forward. Five, four, 
three, two, one, bring the leg down. <clears throat> Empty coat sleeves. Step that right leg back in a warrior two. Again, your hips are strong and stable. They're grounding all the way down to your feet. Extend those arms out. Left palm face up, reach up and back. Reverse warrior, let your spine bend. Left elbow to left thigh, reach the right arm up and over. Both hands to the floor, pivot your back foot, scoot the left. Feel how strong your hips are, pull that left shin forward, right heel back. Put the effort in your legs, right hand to the floor, left arm reaches up. Five, four, three, two, one hand to the floor, step in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, arms out, look up, all the way up. Hands to your heart. Step that left leg back in a warrior two. <clears throat> your legs are strong and stable, so your spine can lift up. Arms extend out, right palm face up, reach up and back. Right elbow to right thigh, take that left arm up and over. Both hands to the floor, pivot your back foot and scoot to the right. Take a moment, pull that right shin forward, left heel back. Put the effort in your legs, left hand to the floor, right arm reaches up, soften your neck and jaw. Hand to the floor, step back in a down dog. Big inhales and exhales here. Inhale forward in a plank on your knees or on your feet for five, four, three, two, one, all the way down. Right arm straight out to the side, roll over towards it. Back onto the mat, other arm out, roll over towards it. Back onto the mat, hands tight into your chest, press straight up into up dog. Back in a low dog or child's pose, big inhale, reach. Exhale, release. Bring those hands together into the back of your neck. Scooting those shoulders, or excuse me, your elbows up and towards each other. And come into a comfortable seated position. Maybe get a sip of water. Or that's my sign that I need a sip of water. <clears throat> Stretch your face. Take a nice inhale here. Exhale, let your head sink down. Still sitting up nice and tall. Roll that right ear over your right shoulder. Sit up. Extend that left arm down. Let your head sink down. Return your hands. Roll that left ear over your left shoulder, sit up. Extend that right arm down. Let your head sink down, return your hands. Reach your chin towards the ceiling, stretching the front of your neck. Back in a neutral, looking over one shoulder and over the other. And back in the center, take a nice inhale through your nose and exhale it out your mouth. <sighs> Letting yourself settle into your seat, feeling that floor press up against your feet, holding up your bottom so you can release your hip flexors a little bit. <sighs> Gently lift up out of that low back. 
letting your shoulders rest, your arms rest heavy on your lap. Gently move your head, feeling that ease and softness in your neck. The meditation mantra of the month is the greeting namaste, which is simply or complicatedly a greeting recognizing the sacred mystery in all of us. And this is a morning offering from a beloved man named John O'Donoghue. It comes from this book. So maybe close your eyes or leave them open and focus on something if that feels better for you. And receive this morning offering. I bless the night that nourished my heart to set the ghosts of longing free into the flow and figure of dream that went to harvest from the dark, bread for the hunger no one sees. All that is eternal in me welcomes the wonder of this day, the field of brightness it creates, offering time for each thing to arise and illuminate. I place on the altar of dawn the quiet loyalty of breath, the tent of thought where I shelter, Waves of desire I am sure to, and all beauty drawn to the eye. May my mind come alive today to the invisible geography that invites me to new frontiers. To break the dead shells, shell of yesterdays. To risk being disturbed and changed. May I have the courage today to live the life that I would love to postpone my dream no longer, but do at last what I came here for and waste my heart on fear no more. And let the people say amen. Take some nice easy inhales and exhales through your nose, letting those words settle in. Keeping your attention drawn inward, head down to the floor. When you get there, take that big inhale, full body stretch, come into a little ball. Do what you need to do today. those feet flat on the floor press your low back into the floor bring one knee into your chest at a time both knees in then eventually and take both legs up in the air soften your knees as much as you need to stretch your feet your ankles Take your legs together in circles, massaging that low back. <clears throat> Maybe we're helping wind all of this into our body. Like a funnel. And our legs are moving all of this shifted energy straight into the core. Go in the other direction. Holding onto your legs, your feet somewhere, take those legs wide or come into happy baby or a combination of the two. Whatever works best for you this morning. And crossing that right leg over your left, pulling those heels towards opposite hips. Thighs maybe in closer towards your chest. Maybe tuck your chin towards your neck just a little bit and then release effort. Switch sides.
and big inhale, full body stretch, reach it all the way out. <clears throat> Feet flat on the floor, as wide as the mat, arms out to the side, do those big, slow windshield wipers, feeling that good, predictable pull and embrace of gravity that has been supporting and empowering you the whole time bringing just a little bit of magic to yoga because yoga just would not feel this good without gravity oh bringing those knees back into the middle press that low back into the floor and then if it feels okay for you bringing the soles of your feet together letting those knees lay out trust that it all worked you did great let your body absorb all of this new muscle memory resilience strength balance your body has received it. Press your knees together, scooting your feet out away from each other, letting your hips sink down. If this feels like the right posture for your final resting pose, then stay just like this. Otherwise, you might extend those legs out as long and as wide as the mat. You might put a cushion underneath your head or underneath your knees or something else. Trust that the floor is holding you up and you don't need to hold yourself up. Soften the bottom of your feet, release your toes. Let some warmth and weight rest heavy on top of your feet. Feel that pull of gravity on your heels. Release your calf muscles. Release all effort in your thighs, letting your hips sink down. Feeling the total support of the floor underneath you. Let the full length of your body settle into the floor. Like you're settling in to warm, fine sand. And it's shaping and shifting itself around you totally supporting you so you can soften your lower back, release your belly, letting that ease and softness rise up your spine, releasing all those muscles that support your back body, letting your shoulders rest, maybe getting a sense of that pull of gravity across your chest and across your arms, like the weight of a heavy quilt, tucking you in, helping you rest right here and now, just as you are. Practice letting go here. Practice letting go of the conversations and the misunderstandings, the decisions and the unanswered questions. Right here and now, practice loosening your grip on all that is beyond your control. Letting go of the work that is not yours to do. So that you can be about the work that is yours to do. Softening the muscles of your neck that reach across your back and your chest. Feeling the total support of the floor underneath your head. So you can soften your jaw and your chin. Release your lips and your cheeks. Soften your eyebrows and your forehead. Soften even the very crown of your head. Trusting that all of this new and renewed energy and strength, all of this effort and rest, is inside of you as it has always been. Start to wiggle your toes and your fingers, letting your body know that you're going to move. 
Take a big inhale, full body stretch, reach it all the way out. And then bringing those feet flat on the floor when you're ready. Hands return to you. Reconnect with that sensation of gratitude for all that makes it possible for you to be here in the midst of everything. Gratitude for the day ahead. Gently rolling over to one side, pressing yourself up. Taking a moment to notice how things might have shifted and changed for you during the practice. Remembering that there's always more happening than we could ever know or perceive. Trusting that there will be shifts to come. I thank you for sharing your practice with us. Know that it makes such a difference that you are here. Namaste. I hope you all have wonderful days. Bon voyage.